I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. Thank you, Kiki. I really needed that because, man, there's stuff going on. There's stuff going on in television right now and something can turn from good to shit so quickly. I feel like I just had a Game of Thrones moment. You know how people were like, Game of Thrones, the last season was absolute dog shit and the final episode was such trash, like dumpster fire level shit? I just felt that feeling, I think. I haven't had it in a very long time, but it happened. And I don't think I've experienced this level of accelerated dog shit since Arrow. Like, Arrow season one was great, two was phenomenal, three was good. Four was, eh? And then five just went off the edge, all right? I just stopped after like one episode of season five. I was like, I'm done with this now. This is too much. Flash, watch season one. Phenomenal. Season two, pretty damn good. Season three, episode one. Wow. This turned to absolute shit. So quick. So quick. But apparently I found one that did it even quicker with even few episodes. Even fewer episodes. <laughs> The Man in the High Castle, one show that for the last three weeks I've been recommending to everyone I've been meeting, being like, man, you need to start watching this show, it's so good, I'm on season three, uh, it's, it, it just it, it grips you, it pulls you in, there's something visceral about it, it feels real even though it's a fantasy, it's not, it's not real life, but it has so many aspects of our world that it makes it seem so visceral. Season one was so good that it forced me to watch season two. Like, I, I watched episode one of, of season one. And I was only intending to watch one episode that night, like, all these weeks ago now, because it was, like, two in the morning. And I was like, damn. I sort of want to watch episode two, though. So I watched episode two. So that's the type of show it was. It really clawed you and, and made you want to watch the next episode. It was an episode turner. Page turner, episode turner. I don't know what I'm on about now, but the, but the, but the, but the, but the fact is, it got better in season two, and it got good in season three. I think one and two were better than three, but season four just fell off the absolute cliff edge. It's like Elon Musk shot this show. He shot it all the way into space on his SpaceX nonsense. It was crazy. Watching it, I was like pulling my hair out, looking at the screen, being like, why? Why did you do that? You didn't need to do that. It was such a uniquely concept conceptualized show from the start all the way through season one. And you get to season two and you're like, oh shit. This, I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't think this was gonna be this type of show. I thought it was like a, like a war type show and then it just turned into a fantasy show. And then season three built on season two in some good ways and some bad ways, but mainly good. And season four just lit it all on fire. It just lit it all on fire and said, no, we don't have time for this anymore. Amazon, I don't know what you've done. You mucked this one up. I don't know the story because I haven't read the book. So I have no idea if this was a good rendition or not. I would think probably it's not going to be a great rendition in terms of definitely season four. But even one, two, three, I'm not sure if it's a good rendition of the books. But the fact that they did what they did with season four, maybe it needed two seasons. Maybe they just collated the story too much and compressed it and they formed these episodes which just didn't make sense they didn't work together very well some storylines came in from out of nowhere and you just didn't like the characters because you didn't know the characters and they sort of had main roles especially with like uh, the, the, the the liberation army type thing um absolute nonsense like a shit show it was it was ridiculous it it came to the point of me looking at this and saying why is this even the case why am I still watching this? But I thought at this point, I've already committed like 30 hours to this thing. I might as well watch the last five episodes. I was wrong. I wish I'd just stopped at season three. I really wish I'd stopped. At the same time, you sort of look at it, look at it and you say, you need to see bad storytelling sometimes because that way it shows you what not to do. And I think that's what this one did. One, two, three showed me, wow, really build out a world, create a great product. Season four showed me, do not screw it up this badly. It was absolutely shoddy. They killed off characters in episode one. You didn't even see previous characters. I don't know why. They probably didn't have the budget. I, they, maybe they slashed the budget on the show and they didn't want to pay for the actors because a big, big actor, one of my favorite parts of the show, is just not in season four at all from episode one. For no apparent reason, they just killed him off without him being on screen, even though it was on screen. 
nutty, nutty. I appreciate the way they filmed around it, but I don't like the way they filmed around it at the same time, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so if you don't know, Man in the High Castle, great show. Seasons one, two, and three. Maybe just stop there. Like, don't watch season four. Don't do it to yourself. Because I did. And I kind of regret it. I kind of do. I was speaking pretty fast in this video. I don't know why, but I was... I was sort of Sonic the Hedgehogging through it. I was a speedster in this one, so uh, I apologise to this man. I do. I'm sorry that I, I maybe was a bit too fast. But the, the fact remains, Amazon... Get your shit together. I, I pretty much like a lot of the stuff I watch on Amazon Prime. I think it has overall better content than Netflix. Most of the time, there's not many Netflix shows that I'm really hooked on, but there's a lot of Amazon shit that I, I'm clicking on on a constant basis. So, you know, maybe they cut the budget. Maybe they did some things with the storytellers, the showrunners, and, and it just didn't work out very well because it was a, a very disappointing season finale and even final season of the show. Um, just took it in so many directions, which I didn't want it to go. It's odd to say that because from the start, you didn't know what direction it was going to take. But yeah, I definitely, definitely wish they hadn't taken the ones they had. Anyway, guys, if you didn't enjoy this video, just me taking a shit on the show, then please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then, uh, the man in the high castle, the villains from that. We'll come after you. I'm not going to say exactly what's going on in the show because it's about Germany during World War II. And if I say that, this video will definitely go nowhere. It probably won't go anywhere anyway. But if I say the word, then it's not going anywhere. I'm going to say it and I'm going to bark it out. Yahtzee. It's, it rhymes with Yahtzee. Yeah. And then there's the Japanese imperialists from that time as well. You know, uh, you don't want them to come after you. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I'm in deep shit. Uh, <laughs> now I've been the original the comic. You've been great. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. Yes, if you don't know, make a video every day. Every day. Yeah, it's killing me softly with every upload. But uh, it's been over 650 days now. But even at this point, we are not stopping until we get to 10,000 subscribers. So subscribe. It would be great. It would be stunning. Subscribe! See you tomorrow, because I will be here with some more content, some more quality, shitty content, because it is very, very subpar. Yeah, it's averagely subpar. It's subpar. See you tomorrow, because I will be here again. Every day. Every day. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.